Hi, Shannon. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today. My name is Juliet, and I am a senior at Carnegie Mellon University, where I study math and statistics. And I'm also a student employee of Carnegie Mellon's Career and Professional Development Center, which is why I'm interviewing you today. So to begin, I'd love for you to tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. So um, I went to CMU and I actually graduated in 2015 in the School of Computer Science. I did CS and HCI. Um, before that, I'm originally from the Bay Area, California, specifically um, San Leandro, which is near Oakland. Um, so I've been at HRT for about five years, a little bit over that. I'm a core developer, um, which means that I do software engineering. Uh, I work on the team that deals with either market data feeds or uh, order entry. That's super cool. I'm an HCI minor and I'm also from the Bay Area. I'm from Sunnyvale, California. Cool, yeah, that's good, yeah. So how did you end up working at HRT? Um, it's, it's kind of funny. Um, there's some people who know about HRT before applying. I didn't actually know much about HRT before I ended up actually applying. I knew that I wanted to be in New York because it seemed like a pretty exciting place for me to go. Mm -hmm. And being from the Bay Area, it just seemed like, you know, more unique. Mm -hmm. um, I actually was visiting a friend at the TOC and I uh, was leaving the TOC when I saw Hudson River Trading. And I think if that name doesn't indicate it's a, com it's a company in New York, I don't know what does. Um, but I ended up talking to the people on in, in the booth and I ended up really liking uh, the, the engineers that I talked to there. That's really great. I'm glad that you used CPDC resource to end up working here. Why did you end up choosing to work at HRT? Um, so to kind of uh, say what I said earlier, I really liked everyone I, I ended up meeting. Um, I met a lot of the engineers during my interview process. Um, and it seemed like one thing that was at HRT that made me really happy was that it seemed like some a place that I could contribute to a lot. Mm -hmm. So in the end, I was kind of um, choosing between Google and HRT. And Google is a big company, and I felt like it was a place I was familiar with because I had interned there. But HRT was at a size that is a little bit more manageable. Um, and I felt like um, kind of the work you do at HRT just led itself to feeling a little bit more satisfied um, in that, you know, uh, we, we, uh, we, don't really have clients. And so uh, when I work on code, the people who actually see the results of my code are my own coworkers. And I feel like I'm really working in a team, whereas at Google, I was facing kind of these unnamed customers and I didn't know who was actually using the product because I was working on an enterprise thing. Yeah, definitely. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So kind of going off of that, we're going to talk a little bit about company culture. What do you think um, are like some key features of HRT's culture? I think HRT has a very high concentration of people who are really intense about what they like and what they want to learn. Um, you'll find that at HRT, there are some people who will tell you about a hobby, but they will not really mention that they're actually one of the best in the world at some hobby. <laughs> Um, and it is, it kind of shows in interaction that they are people who really care about the things that they are doing inside and outside of work. Um, so there are a lot of like, uh, things that we do socially. And I feel like, uh, since people are really put their, put a lot of themselves into even just like a social event or like some game, like it makes it so that. I don't know, it, it makes it a very like intense culture compared to a lot of other places I've been. Thank you for sharing. I know a lot of CMU students, myself included, definitely think about culture when they're trying to figure out where they're working in the future. So I hope this response is really helpful for CMU students and when they watch this video. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite memory from HRT? Um, so, 
I think it's even possible one of my other coworkers you've talked to have has mentioned this, but there was this one time where um uh a lot of people at work started getting really into this book that this person had written. Like this is a book that had been like a New York Times bestseller like 10 years ago. And it was about rats. Like just <laughs> just like it was talking about how uh, this guy, he wanted to learn all about rats and the way he did it, this is nonfiction, by the way, was that he kind of just sat down in this alley and observed rats. And there are like these other interlude chapters where he like, you know, went to Chicago to a rat trapping conference and like learned about exterminating rats. But in general, he just wanted to learn all about this. So people were really into this book at work. And we invited the author to come give a talk at work. And apparently he was like, what? You you want me to talk about this book I wrote 10 years ago? Oh, yeah, sure. And then uh, after this talk, he just kind of was like, yeah, I'm just, you know, I did all this stuff about rats. I was really into them. Uh, he took us on a little field trip where we went to the alleyway that he spent like a year watching rats. And we were just like excitedly looking for rats. Like at one point, someone in our people office was just taking pictures of literal garbage no rats in sight just in case there were rats somewhere in the photo <laughs> very interesting memory um that was actually the first time i heard it i've heard about trips to cancun and specific projects that other hr tiers were working on so oh, this is a good change <laughs> so i know that you were interested in working at google or hrt um what are some of the differences in working in the tech industry versus a financial industry? And why did you end up choosing that, um, the finance industry? Yeah, so um, I'm going to actually like preface this a little bit with um, my, this is kind of just my perspective at HRT, obviously it doesn't really fit all finance and it may not even fit uh, the perspective of other people, uh, of other people who work in different like teams at HRT. Um, but I work in core at HRT, I work on like infrastructure. And so I actually think that it is not as big of a difference as people think. I, I already talked a bit about the culture. So you can see that like, it's not, it's not like a place where we're just like marching in with our suits and like talking about what's, I don't know, like what, what's the latest on CNBC. Um, but we have like a lot of the same people that I would uh, encounter in a regular tech company anyway, except that we end up learning a little bit more about kind of the problem domain of like things in like finance, basically. Mm -hmm. um, and so like you learn things like, oh, which exchange handles what kind of data type this way or that way. But like in the end, those are just like facts, right? Like the types of problems are not necessarily different. Um, from what you would actually see at a data at a like tech company, um, one thing is that uh, for HRT uh, we care a lot about kind of the speed in which we execute trades. So one thing is that uh, we care about uh, say like uh, latency of like how our code executes, which is not necessarily something you might worry about in a company that does a web app, but. Um, in the end, I think it's just not a big difference. Yeah, I can definitely see that. I worked in fintech over the summer for an internship, so makes sense. Oh, cool. Where did you work? I worked at City, but I worked in their technology analyst program. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, what kind of advice would you give to CMU students who want to work at HRT? And I guess more specifically, who want to do core development? Yeah. Um, so I, I'm sure you've, I, I think you did ask like my coworkers, like how could they stand out through mm -hmm. the recruiting, uh, like recruiting at, at HRT. And I'm going to actually take a little bit of a different angle for like this question, um, which is like, just let's assume, you know, we've interviewed and you, you're smart enough that you got an offer. I actually want to give some advice about like, what is, what makes you successful? Like when you're working at HRT. Um, and I think there are like some things that um, I find myself given, giving as advice to new hires, which is, I think the first thing is that you should definitely admit when you don't know anything. I think that is very, very much true, 
even in the interview process, I think the one of the most impressive things is when someone says, I don't know, but maybe this is how it could work. And they could tell me reasonings behind that. Mm-hmm. Like people in, uh, all, like all the new hires that I felt like were the most effective were the ones that were least afraid to ask questions when they didn't know how to do something. Um, kind of, uh, I, I think I think another thing is that you should always, I don't know, keep trying to learn things. Like even now, I feel like uh, a lot of people I work with will read new books about like about things that we work with because I don't know, you never really know what you don't know until you. <laughs> try to explore that area. Um, you could think that you know something very well. It turns out you read like 300 pages on how CPU caches work and you did not know how that worked at all. Um, and I think like the third thing is that um, just this is just success, like a advice for your life. Again, you should just do what you are say, saying you're going to do when you talk to coworkers, <laughs> aka there are a lot of people who go like, okay, yeah, I'll do that later. And then they never do it. If you are a person who actually does it, you end up getting a surprising amount of trust from a lot of people because I don't know, that's, it, it's, it's surprisingly not as common. So yeah. Thank you for sharing that. I definitely did not know about number of people who don't follow through with what they say. Um, but I think this would be really helpful for anyone who ends up accepting an offer with HRT in the future. So for our final question, um, I'd love for you to look back at your time at CMU. What kind of career advice or any kind of advice would you give to yourself? To myself? Um, I think, uh, let's see. Well, I think that like, um, I think to myself very specifically, I think I should have just tried to TAOS. <laughs> <laughs> but because I am going to say that like when I was at CMU, I actually TA'd a lot of uh, things. I, I TA'd, uh, I TA'd uh, 214 and web apps. Um, and though I feel like those were great, I actually feel like I actually learned so much TAing and I learned so much more. I TAed both of those for multiple semesters. And I think if I actually TAed like a third class, like I would learn even more. I actually, I, I really respect, um, like how much work people, the TAs put into their the work because I myself have done it. I've spent sleepless nights grading homework. And then like, it has actually made me a better student because when I knew, uh, when I knew what TAs were going through when they were grading homeworks, as a student, I would be like, what is a TA looking for when they are actually grading this later? And then I just got a lot better. I, I would get the main point better. That definitely makes sense. And seeing that a lot of CMU students TA, hopefully that is helpful advice. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah. Thank you so much for taking the time to interview with us today. Mm -hmm. I hope that this has been helpful for CMU students who watch this in the future. Yes, it was good to talk to you.